Frank Hate Show. Brought to you by Pepsi, Don Thornton Cadillac, TTCU, The Credit Union, River Spirit, and St. Francis Health System. And now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Frank Haith Show. I'm Bruce Howard, joined by the basketball coach at the University of Tulsa, Frank Haith. And, you know, we're going to go through three games, uh, and it's kind of the wall-to-wall ball situation we have early in the year because we're going to go through three games, and two of the three you win. So the team's starting to come around a little bit. Yeah, you know, obviously Cincinnati game here was a great game. We, we turned around quickly to go play on the road at Central Florida, which we had a tough tough one out there. But I thought we competed hard, and then obviously winning on the road, our first road win at South Florida, was really good. Yeah, no question about it. The Golden Hurricane winning the home game against Cincinnati and then being able to recover a week later and defeat South Florida in Tampa, obviously very big. In a moment, we'll be back and we'll have the highlights of the Cincinnati victory right here at the Reynolds Center on the Frank Hayes Show. As we welcome you back to the Frank Hayes Show, you see Tulsa taking on Cincinnati in the game at home. And coach, you got off to a pretty good start here. We did. You know, we started to share the ball, and obviously uh, Ray was really good in, in this ball game. Uh, we needed to establish our post presence, uh, and he, he, he got off to a really good start. We just wanted to throw that ball in the air, and uh, we're starting to execute in some of our out-of-bounds play with the back cutting. That's Ladavius Drain with a basket for you and an early 4 nothing lead over Cincinnati. The Bearcats clawed back to tie it at 4, but you retake the lead with Jariah Horn. When you can isolate him, that's a big deal. It is, and and you know Cincinnati switched one through four, one through five, so we got him on a switch, and we really wanted to go inside there, and that was a good finish by Ray uh, off a pass by Pritch, and Pritch is understanding how to keep his dribble alive and not spitting that ball up and uh, and finding guys. Anthony Pritchard had a terrific game in this one, almost had a triple double, and that's a nice drive. Nice pace and on this on that drive, a little hezzy, getting the defense off balance and then and finishing. Really good pass by Anthony right there to, 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 to uh, uh, Nikita on a roll. Causes them to call a timeout, but uh, really nice low, no look there, huh? Yeah, and you know, we cleared the whole backside, so there was really no help on that backside. We overloaded a, a side and got him caught on a, uh, on a hedge. And again, you have Pritchard this time really being contested and really strong. Yeah, nice finish, and we, we, we felt like we, you know, they get up and pressure you so hard, you need to drive the ball. And it's a nice pick and pop play there by Dry. Dry Horn converting that one. You're up by 11 here in the early going. What a terrific start. Yeah, and we still, you know, they got a little quick uh, transition bucket there, but uh, we're playing pretty good basketball. And, you know, Cincinnati has a really good team. They're going to get back into it. You see 17 15, and we talked about runs. We had our run to start, but I think Sam made two of these uh, where he, he made shots when, to stop a run. And for the Hurricane, again, the 1918 lead at this point, and Jariah Horn. Again, your team making some tough shots. You got to make those shots even when guarded sometimes. You do, and you got to, and, and we really, and the, these are paint points. You know, we really don't want to settle. And uh, there's another pick and roll situation. Jariah is a good passer, so when you're four and five, get some ball screen stuff, that's good. And good. this three pointer comes off a second chance, huh? Yeah, really good uh, job by Pritch. And, that's usually the time you can steal a three when it's rebounding and kicking it out. And so your lead was up, what, at 11 at one point in the first half, and now you extend it back to eight after Cincinnati made their run. Yeah, that's a nice pass by Pritch. And like you said, Pritch was probing, doing a really good job here. And this just a little bit of an ISO play for DJ up top. And DJ had a really good game this ball game. Darian Jackson with that fade away, and the Hurricane up by 10 now, back into that double digit, and that forced Cincinnati to call yet another timeout. And there's a wonderful steal by Darian Jackson. Good anticipation and really good finish. And we'll, we'll take another look at how he's able to blow through those passing lanes in order to get mm -hmm. that steal. It's like a DB back there in the in secondary and, and you know playing possum and just going to get that ball and accelerating through it. And so you see the lead was up to 12, but then Cincinnati carves it back down to 37 to 34 as we approach halftime. Yeah. That's, that's a heck of a shot by really big, Jariah Horn big at halftime. shot by Jariah at halftime. And we're up five, you know, but we're playing pretty good. I mean, you know, we're shooting the ball well from three in front of the floor. We held them under 40% shooting, and, and, and we know we needed to guard a three-point line. As you recall, they shot the three ball very well up there 
in Cincinnati. Yeah, and in the early going, they had taken 17 three-pointers already in the first half, but have made only five of those as we go to seven, second half action. And on your initial possession, you get, again, a chance to isolate Jariah Horn. Well, we wanted to go at Davenport. He had two fouls, and, and with the first play in the second half, we wanted to go at him, and uh, that was a good execution right there. And there's a terrific drive and basket by Anthony Pritchard, and Tulsa back up by six. He's starting to get more comfortable and, and finishing around that rim. Darian Jackson with a three late in the shot clock. And boy, when he can make those, it really makes him even more dangerous. It, it does. I think he made a couple this ball game. And mm -hmm. again, since they had made a run, Sam Griffin makes a big shot to stop a run right there. And now with the six point lead, good deep possession, getting it to Jariah Horn, who got the contact and the foul of the basket. Good back cut play off of our down series. and. Good finish. And so TU ups their lead again and continues to hold Cincinnati at bay. You can see the six point lead now for the Golden Hurricane. And again, it's Darian Jackson. Boy, that's, that shot looks good. He's worked on that so He's far, really worked he? on it, Bruce, and I'm proud of him. And good pass by Ray. And, and we're going to have to play that way here on out. We got to get those inside out uh, plays. Big man has to collect the ball. And Nikita Konstantinovsky did a nice job of collecting the ball there. Yeah, nice kickstand. Nice kickstand, patience and finishing. Jariah Horn with a good pass. There it is. What's the kickstand? Keep that pivot foot down, good finish. And so the Hurricane back up by nine at that point. And again, the lead carved down to three. Pritchard finds Jariah Horn, short corner for the jump shot. Yeah, nice shot fake. One, one dribble pull up by Jariah, good patience. This is another play for DJ we run, where we clear out the middle for him to drive and go make a play. And now you're calling plays for Darian Jackson. You wouldn't have done that when he was a freshman, Exactly, huh? exactly. <laughs> Here's Jariah Horn with... Nice high-low, and, and Ray going over the right shoulder. Nice, nice left hand uh, off the glass, bank shot. He's really established that left hand, hasn't he? Yeah, a good transition play right there. We, we struggled in transition a little bit uh, in terms of executing. But that was a really good play right there because I think we're a good transition team. Well, Tulsa had gotten that lead back up to 10, and boy, what a play there on the nice scoop nice shot. Nice scoop shot by, by Pritch right there. Good finish. Gets it back up to nine. We'll get another look at it. You got to do a lot of things to get open in college basketball and get a shot off, and he did a whole bunch of stuff. Penetrate, yeah. spin, the whole deal. Well, a nice tight dribble, too, in his crossover. So the Hurricane again, seeing that lead shaved down to two. And you can also see the time is still four minutes to go. And Jackson, again, very good. Yeah, another play for DJ. Clear out a side, let him drive it and go one-on-one. DeJulius, who hurt Tulsa in the first game, obviously still a very dangerous player. And he, he gets well, the ball blocked yeah, away. Yeah, nice. but with, with nice play wall jumps. We, we needed more of those. Another play by DJ right here. Uh, uh, you know, we call that uh, go play. and. Uh, DJ got it on a run, nice finish. And remember, that was Cincinnati trying to get it back down to two. You get the block and then you get a basket, and all of a sudden it's 77 71. Nice, nice shot by uh, Jirai right there in the post up. So now you're up by eight, and it becomes more difficult. And again, a, another really good defensive play inside for you. Those, those wall jumps are really big. There's another one by Jirai, and we need more of those. And they're doing that without fouling, aren't yes, they? Yes, yes. And, that, and that's from an officiating standpoint. You're able to do that. So there you have it, the final score, the Golden Hurricane winning and defeating Cincinnati at home by six. Good shooting by Tulsa, good defense by Tulsa. Just those two things usually means a victory, doesn't it? Yeah, the stat line tells you what you, you know, you know, you hold them, a really good offensive team under 40% shooting. Uh, you know, your three-point line, you guarded it very well, which we didn't the last time we played these guys. Well, a good win for you at home, but it is a quick turnaround. The Golden Hurricane, in a game that earlier this year got covid out, ends up having to go to Orlando for a Monday night affair against the UCF Knights. All the details coming up next on The Frank Haith Show. We're back on the Frank Hayes Show, and we take a look at Tulsa taking on UCF on a Monday night in Orlando. And uh, Coach, you didn't get off to a good start. This basket, as you can see by Sam uh, Griffin, uh, was almost four minutes in, but you were playing good defense. We're playing so good defense early on, but we, we just, uh, you know, obviously a struggle scoring there a little bit, but um, this kid Mayhan got it going. I mean, he really shot the ball well, and that was a contested three right there. Speaking of contested three, there's Jariah Horn hitting one for you. Zeke still, we're both we're battling right here, you know, and we just, 
defensively we're playing well, offensively we just, you know, they're doing a good job, uh, but uh, we're still only down six midway through the first half. And there you see UCF has inched the lead back up to 12. And again, Nikita Konstantinovsky with a nice job with possession inside. Yeah, nice kickstand and finish again from Nikita. Cuts the lead down to 10. Darian Jackson would end up with the ball in this situation and make a basket for you. And down by 13, banks yeah. that one in at the shot clock buzzer. Yeah, we uh, hope shot. Right. <laughs> but it went in, and here is UCF possession with Mahan. He would make five of those, and that was fairly well guarded, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But you know, you got to make him deck it a little bit. You know, can't like he had a rhythm right there. Darian Jackson again with a three. That's, yeah, that's about more, the fourth one we've seen on the show yeah, so far. Yeah, that's more like it, the rhythm shot, and that's, he's worked on it. But again, UCF doing a pretty good job of extending that lead, and that's a good tough play by Tim Dalger. Good drive by Tim, good finish. And again, the Hurricane just trying to kind of stay within or near that uh, double digit mark, maybe inside double digits if you can. And obviously, great extra effort by the yeah, Hurricane to get the lead. Yeah, on the boards right there. Get the lead down to nine. Again, they are able to extend it a little bit, but here you are, you're 36-27. It's nine, and now it's seven. Again, Darian Jackson, very Good aggressive. Drive. They would end up scoring a little bit at the end of the half, and you can see that they have a 41-30 lead, but uh, it's not bad considering the shooting percentages and that sort yeah. of thing. You're still in there. We're still there. You know, we, you know we've been down 11 and a half, and, and we came out here in the beginning of the second half, and I thought we played really well and got ourselves in position to make a run, but uh, what it was unable to. Well, you see here early in the second half, Golden Hurricane right off the jump, down by 11, and Jariah Horn with a good muscular move inside. Good finish by Jariah. Uh, good drive right here by Pritch. And he ends up getting a three-pointer, and uh, he banked that one in. I don't know if he meant to do that either. He but said he did. I asked him later. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a strip and a steal, and back the other way goes Anthony Pritchard. And good nice layup. step through move. Good huh? layup. Good layup. I think we cut it to six. Right. Yeah. And then uh, we had some play. That's another good play by, by Pritch on defense putting your chest on people and getting your hands up. And there's a steal by Jariah Horn, and it will result in a basket the other way for the Hurricane. And again, your lead down to six, and now it's seven. A nice layup right here by Pritz, uh, using the rim to finish. He's doing a really nice job of finishing now, isn't he, making those layups? Getting a lot better. Here's another one, you know. So we, you know, we, we, we're still a paint-touch team, and we're, we're doing a good job, good execution right there on our back cut play. So on the inside, right after the inside 12 timeout, you get a good play and Sam Griffin makes a bucket and you're still right there. Still right there, good hustle play by Pritch getting on the floor. He's our floor burn guy right now. We need some other guys doing that. And again, cuts the lead near that double digit mark. You would get it down to eight with this basket coming up from Darian Jackson. And again, another three pointer. Needed that, didn't you? Yeah, we did. And, uh, you know, we had we were still within striking distance. Then they came, got this kid, uh, got away from us. That, that second shot right there really hurt us. And that layup by Johnson got that lead back up, and now you're really fighting it. Yeah, just teams are sitting on that spin by Dry sometimes. You got to make sure you got good spacing. We don't bring another defender over. 19 point lead at that point, but your team kept battling. Down the stretch here, I thought we competed hard to keep, you know, we kept playing. And we didn't settle and uh, fought hard. A guy like Sterling Tapper is out there and he's, he's giving some good minutes and there's a nice shot by him. You know, we, we, we fought to the end on this ball game. Sterling Gaston Chapman converting there and at the end of the game or near the end of the game, Tulsa ends up getting this basket from Tim Dalger to cut the lead down to nine, but not enough as uh, UCF ends up winning 76-67. You can see the last few seconds of the game and UCF victorious in the game. And again, you did improve your shooting, but not quite enough. No, and, and they shot well. They shot, I mean, you know, they shot the ball really well from the floor. Uh, and Mayhan had a big game for them, but um, you know, we, we, we it just, it was just a, you know, quick turnaround game. We knew it was gonna be tough, but they, they battled very hard. Well, the Golden Hurricane falling 
again by the final score of 76 to 67. And now TU has a weekend game again back on the road going to Tampa to take on the South Florida Bulls. We'll have the highlights of that next on the Frank Hayes Show. As we rejoin on the Frank Hayes Show, that's a picturesque look at what used to be the USF Sun Dome. Now it's called the Yingling Center and the Golden Hurricane taking on South Florida. And here in the early going, Coach Ray Idowu. Boy, when he gets it going early, that's big for you. Yeah, and we, we really want to establish our post game as we did in Cincinnati. And, you know, we weren't, we're unable in the Central Florida game because we didn't talk about this, but, you know, Ray had two fouls, yeah. quick fouls. Yeah. Chiwa gets a basket to give UCF or USF the lead, and there's Murphy inside, and you're really struggling to score at this point. Six points in the first, what, 11 plus minutes? Huh? Yeah, and then we got it going here pretty, I mean, I think we, we shot, end up shooting 50 plus percent at the half. Right. And we got it going here, uh, executing, moving the ball, Sam in transition, nice, and he gets his feet underneath him, I want him to shoot that ball. Yeah, and that, I thought those two three-pointers kind of unlocked everything mm -hmm. for you. Especially now, the one by uh, Jariah, but there's another one. There's a back play we run for Sam, and he that was deep, and he had uh, he'd got it going there. And all of a sudden, you're up by one, and now with the tie game, it's Sam Griffin again. Good assist. Good one more pass, and, and just the spacing. We want those corners covered in transition, so we got spacing. You see the spacing right now. It's good execution. And again, Jariah Horn with the assist on the play, and all of a sudden, you're up by three. The lead now at one, and that's a very nice pass inside, sharing the ball well. Really sharing the ball. Good pass by Gerard, good finish by Tim. And now down the back stretch of the first half, you're up by two, and Tim Dauger makes that three-pointer, and that would be the score at halftime. Golden Hurricane would be up by five at halftime, and you look at those numbers, certainly the, the Hurricane shooting the ball well and holding Florida down to 35.5%. Yeah, and 23% from three. We're doing a really good job defensively. And obviously, the only thing we're struggling with is turning the ball over a little bit. Yep, and for the Hurricane, though, uh, good to have a five-point lead on the road. And you haven't had a road victory yet this year, and this is a huge chance for you. Good execution right there. Like, again, we want to throw that ball in the post, <clears throat> excuse me, get some movement. And that's a good dive to the basket there by uh, DJ. A really good pass by Ray and good finish. And they kind of identified the double team and found a guy, didn't he? Yeah, and, and, and DJ's the guy we usually want on that rim. Another assist by Pritchard. I thought Pritchard had an outstanding game this game too. Good floor game, uh, distributing the ball. And that's Sam making a big shot there. I think they had made a little bit of a run. Sam Griffin would end up with 23 in the ball game. Then you're up by six. Another good move and using the left hand by the big man. Yeah, every time they made a run, we had a nice execution play. Good finish. That's a good defensive play by Pritch. And, and had the play right there. I mean, I just I love that. You know, like I said, he's our floor burn guy right now. Good execution after the timeout right there. A little back cut play for Sam. And Griffin able to score. And you can see you're kind of just holding those guys at bay, huh? Really? And good finish right there. Good pass by Curtis and uh, good finish by Ray. So now it's a 10 point game. Golden Hurricane up by 10 as Idowu finishes things off. It's a big bucket right here by Dry. We, we really didn't have anything going. And then he gets the ball, controls it, nice finish in the paint here. That gets that lead back up to 12 points. And there you see the end of the ball game as the Golden Hurricane able to come up with a victory by seven. Good win for you on the road. And obviously you shot the ball well. We did. You know, you shoot the ball like that, 47 percent from three, 52 from the floor. But the other thing too, Bruce, we're, we're defending. You know, you look at those numbers defensively. That's how you went on the road. When you can go on the road, keep people from shooting the ball well, you give yourself a chance. So the Golden Hurricane on this show, two for three, winning in uh, the home game against Cincinnati, then on the road against USF. So two out of three for TU. And we'll talk about the week coming up. It's back on the road for the Cane. We'll be back with more on the Frank Hayes Show in a moment. We're back on the Frank Hayes Show and Coach winning two out of three now. You're starting to get a little bit of momentum and this is the time to start playing well, isn't it? As you get ready to go down to Fort Worth in the postseason tournament. Yeah, and I thought, you know, obviously the hiccup in Central Florida, but I thought we're, you know, obviously we had a great game against Cincinnati and, um, you know, that quick turnaround, but, you know, we played well at South Florida. We have two more opportunities this week, you know, with East Carolina, uh, excuse me, SMU and East Carolina. And I think uh, we just got to build on it. And, you know, we got great opportunities. SMU is a really good team. 
coming off a great win against Memphis on Sunday, so it'll be a great challenge for us. Yeah, no doubt about it. And uh, then once you get that, you have two final home games, which is good to kind of gear up and get ready for. Yeah, and I, I, it's the first time I think we've had that in a while in conference. You know, we usually sometimes always end on up on the road before we go to conference tournament, but we get two home games against two really good teams, Wichita State and and uh, Central Florida. So great opportunities for our ball club heading to postseason play. All right, Coach, have a great week on the road. Thank you, Bruce. And that wraps it up for the Frank Hayes Show. I'm Bruce Howard. We'll talk to you next week.